Alright guys, so we finally checked into our room. Uh, we actually booked a suite for this wedding and so this is actually a colonial home that they have on the property. Um, it's actually separate from the main hotel, uh, but it's here on, on site on the grounds. It's actually just across from, uh, from the gardens for where the wedding was, so it's a really nice location. Uh, very colonial style, very homely feel to it. Um, so we're just now getting settled in. Mo is over there she's getting a nap in we had we had a good lunch after the ceremony um so we're gonna settle in some more and then uh probably go to the pool a little bit later this afternoon i'm gonna take some shots with the drone and then we'll be getting ready for the reception All right, so it's the second day of the wedding. Uh, the ceremony is going on. I uh, just came inside for a little break. It's an outdoor ceremony and very beautiful. Uh, so we're really enjoying seeing the uh, the wedding and also visiting with our friends, you know, who we haven't seen for a long time. So we're gonna continue enjoying our time and I'm gonna head back in. This is the entryway, and this is our unit over here, 741. It is a nice, beautiful staircase, very sort of traditional colonial type architecture, kind of narrow staircase, wooden, with covered with carpet. But they have other units here on the second floor. So this is our unit. You can see here, once you enter, there is a little, uh, Kind of a living room here with a couch. Uh, around the corner here, there's a nice desk. If uh, we were to need to get some work done, you know, we could use this. There's a bathroom here also in the uh, in the foyer. And then walking into the uh, the suite, there is the bedroom here. And then also a second bathroom here as I was mentioning at our friend's wedding uh, we had the wedding ceremony and lunch this morning we have a few hours this afternoon to kind of relax and reset for uh, to get ready for the reception and dinner tonight so we're very much looking forward to that Mo is taking a nap right now um, she worked all of uh, last weekend and I am just sort of hanging out here getting some rest and relaxing thought I would uh, talk to you guys a little bit about um, the, the previous six months, uh, as you know, I was over at Nationwide Children's Hospital doing a uh, chief rotation in pediatric neurosurgery. I have a couple of vlogs uh, about different uh, experiences there, kind of showing you a little bit about what call is like, uh, what my schedule is like during an average workday. But wanted to take this opportunity, spending a couple of minutes, to reflect back on the previous six months and talk a little bit about my experience over there. Overall, I feel like the past six months was a good opportunity for me to kind of refresh on a lot of the pediatric pathologies and get reacclimated to dealing with children and parents and families, as well as performing some of the pediatric neurosurgery procedures. It was a challenging rotation in the fact that in pediatrics, um, there are fewer people uh, at the pediatric hospital in terms of the residents. And so the call is much more frequent at Children's Hospital than it is at our main hospital. 
So while I was there, I was on call roughly every one in three nights. It would end up being around 26 to 27 hours of, uh, of work. Uh, most of the nights I would spend in the hospital because, uh, you know, inevitably we get called to evaluate some patients in the ER or we get called in for a change in their neurological exam and so those patients need to be seen by somebody from our service and so while I'm on call I elect to stay in the hospital uh, just because for me it uh, it is challenging to try and drive back and forth. Especially if I get called in at two in the morning, then I'm really anxious and stressed in the middle of the night, waking up to the pager. Uh, but I find that if I'm already in the hospital and I get those pages, it's much easier for me to uh, to act and to so deal with that. With that said, that. I'm gonna kind of wrap up uh, this segment of uh, the reflections of my time at Children's Hospital. Um, happy to be moving forward, progressing along my residency, looking forward to this next year, all the challenges and all the learning that, that is uh, to come with it. So we have plans to go to the pool here at the hotel. So I'm gonna kick back, enjoy the beautiful weather. It's like 75 degrees and sunny, uh, absolutely beautiful outside. So I'm uh, gonna head to the pool, relax over there, and then uh, uh, we'll have to come back and get ready for the reception after that. All right, we had a great time by the pool. It's about 5.30, so we'll start pre-gaming for the cocktail hour and the reception. There are three other suites in this section of the house, um, but none of them are occupied. So we actually called over some of our friends who are also attending the wedding, most of them friends from undergrad. So they're gonna come join us, we're gonna pre-game, and uh, we're gonna get together, it's gonna be a fun time. All right, welcome back. It is now about six o'clock. We are all changed and ready to go. I am really feeling this outfit. This is a suit that I got from ASOS. Uh, I Actually, the jacket was a little bit long in terms of the sleeves, but I just uh, got it tailored and it's really fitting really nicely. Uh, I paired it with a shirt from Zara, just a very clean, white, crispy dress shirt, very classic. And I have my uh, watch here that matches. Uh, let me show you the rest of the outfit. So I paired the suit with these uh, loafers. These are also from ASOS and it goes really nicely with the outfit. Really clean and very nice. So our friends are on the way. I'm gonna greet them and then we're gonna have a good night. See you guys. So we are in Target right now. Um, we actually forgot to pack some essential items uh, for our trip this weekend. So we made a little quick stop getting, grabbing a few things and then we'll be uh, heading back to the uh, hotel room. So it's about two o'clock right now. We finished our little Target shopping trip. Um, we actually have a late checkout, so we're lucky. Uh, they are allowing us to check out at four. So we basically have half of the day today to kind of relax, enjoy the property, uh, kind of recover from last night's festivities. Um, and uh, you know, we don't have to rush out of here. So that's pretty nice. Um, so I'm actually gonna head to the gym, gonna get like uh, sort of a quick workout in and then um, we'll start packing up and then we'll head over to my cousins and my aunt's house. Um, I have family who live here in Detroit area. Also, I haven't seen my grandparents for two and a half years because of the pandemic. Very much looking forward to seeing them and spending the evening with them as well. back to Columbus we're getting ready for our massages uh, we just parked I'm about to head in um, finished about three-fourths of my coffee it was not bad but uh, you know I think more than anything got me a good uh, caffeine kick to get through the drive so now uh, so yeah we have about uh, you know still the rest of the afternoon and 
end the evening so we're gonna kind of relax in for our massages go to get some groceries and then we'll head home unpack a little bit put the things away and get ready for the start of the new year for us just got home we finished our grocery shopping. We got a little lunch at uh, North Market. We're gonna start putting away our groceries, doing a little unpacking and getting ready for the week ahead. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.